anxiety. That means I'm in my shell and have a hard time expressing myself. I find it difficult to engage with others. So everyone, shut the fuck up because my anxiety Now is keep up. in mind, I was trying to go to sleep. I was trying to relax before I have, because I got to be at the doctor's office on Monday. And I was trying to relax, but because my mind is going and my mind is open, I've been eating them damn gummies like crazy. At this point, they need to sponsor a bitch because, listen, a bitch ain't been stressed out at all. Okay, but before we go any further, like, comment, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell so y'all know when I make another upload. But at the end of the day, this is story time, bitches. This is story time. Remember, earlier I told y'all the story about when my cousin Dewana had to get her lick back. But trust me, I had told y'all that my cousin Deneen had stopped over to the house. Now, see, Deneen wasn't like us. Deneen grew up and her mother was strict. Her mother is still strict, but her mother is Bearded Betty. And at the end of the day, Bearded Betty raised her differently than what Mary King raised us. So at the end of the day, when we got a chance to kick it, we kicked it. And Deneen when I say Deneen got a chance to kick it with us, we have been going to what this we have been going to this nightclub named Spunkies. Now back in the '90s, Spunkies was the shit. But every Saturday night they had male strippers. When I say they had male strippers, honey, they had Luscious Larry. That's a whole nother story. We ain't even talking about it right now, but listen. The headliner was Luscious Larry. Now, keep in mind, these was neighborhood guys that decided to be strippers, and they were stripping at Spunky. So, all the all the women in the neighborhood, even including us, went up to Spunky's to see them strip. Now, keep in mind, it was fun because we was drinking and stuff like this, and we was laughing with the strippers because we knew them. They lived in our neighborhood. So, to see them taking their clothes off, we was like laughing and shit because we could not believe that somebody convinced them to go ahead and take their clothes off. But nevertheless, Deneen was going now, because it. my mother and her mother are sisters. We was either getting dressed, spending the night over to Deneen's house or Deneen was staying the night over at our house. Either way, on a Saturday night, not every Saturday, but maybe like two Saturdays out the month, we was going to Spunky's. Now, keep in mind, I got to tell y'all about Deneen. Deneen is just like my grandma. She's short. She's dark-skinned. She always kept her hair really pretty. and But she had pretty, pretty, pretty fingernails. But she was short and she was round. But if you looked at Deneen, she looked really, really quiet. And she looked like she would not rip your whole face off. But keep in mind, her mother is damn bearded Betty. Yeah, the DNA was there. Okay, anyway... So we would wait all week. Now, keep in mind, we had to have jobs. House had to be clean. She had to be going right. Mary King's house was not the spot. But we kept a porch full of females all the time on our porch because my mother was really strict about us walking the neighborhood. No matter if you're young or old, no matter how old you are, there was always this group of bitches that always had something to say. And because you knew that these bitches was in there, nine times out of ten, y'all didn't sit together. They either sat behind y'all or in front of y'all. But either way, these bitches, uh, for some reason, they picked on everybody that came to Spunky's. Now, keep in mind, we had all week been picking out outfits, combing each other's hair, and this and that. Because my mother was going to hair school when this was going on. So, we, was, we learned how to do hair from my mom. But... Keep in mind, we doing each other's hair. We got on outfits. Now, this is in the 90s. So, you already know what kind of hairstyles we had. It was like either the salt and pepper or some shit like this. But, this was the 90s. And this is how we was. So, either way, we had got dressed and we was going to go to Spunky's. But, my aunt had to take her car. So, we had to Now, drive. we all get dressed. We get to the club. We all start ordering drinks and stuff like this. But, this is how we did it. Whoever was first, they did the drinks. Then we went on down the line. Everybody was buying each other drinks. But back then, the drinks was like drink drinks. So we was drinking and we was laughing and stuff like this. Plus, we, you know, the the herbal man, we had stopped over his house. And we had some herbal therapy over there back then. That's what we did. It was bad as fuck, but okay. Anyway, we was in the club. We was vibing. We was listening to Mary J. Blige. You remind me. That shit. We was listening to stuff like Dyes and Effects, that shit. That's what we was listening to. So at the end of the day, we was at the club and we was getting hyped. 
We seen the girls when they came in and they immediately start getting on the girls that was in the seat next to theirs. So when they was doing this, all we kept saying was, they don't want us to tear this damn club up. Now, this and is a disclaimer. My mother did raise us not to fight. She just knew that it wasn't, I'm trying to tell y'all that we wasn't like bad. We just, I mean, it was just, it is what it is. We just wasn't going. You know, we wasn't going. For God's sakes, Mary King is our mother. We wasn't going. But we never picked the fight. This is just a disclaimer. You know, it sounds like we got into fights all the time, but we really did not really. But, you know, nevertheless, we wasn't no punk bitches. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. So the girls was getting on the other girls, and the one girl was trying to fight back. But they wasn't fighting, they was arguing. Because they was making fun of the girl's shoes or whatever the case may be. This is what they were doing. So when Deneen heard them say something, she sounded like my grandma. Don't worry about them. We got really got us drinking. Deneen and Margaret had to go and pee. Now they was gonna go to the bathroom in order to get to the bathroom. The spot where we were sitting was like it was a level up. But it was like in a like a half moon. It was like several of them up there. So we were sitting right there, but we could see the stage really good. Now, keep in mind, none of the strippers had came out. So this is like pregame show. You know what I'm saying? So Mo, uh, Monique told Margaret, you go with her. Because Deneen wasn't like us. Deneen was like real quiet. And she was not, you know, you know, her maniac hand came out. Okay, so she on her way past the girl's table. She heard them say, look at that fat girl. Denise was not fat, though. Denise was a medium-sized girl, but she was thick. At the end of the day, they called her fat. She heard them. She is bearded Betty's Denise damn daughter. Margaret. Margaret went to the bathroom. Unbeknownst to Margaret, Denise is using the bathroom, but she is getting mad. And we had never seen Deneen in rare form because she, we just never saw her because Bearded Betty is her mother. They damn near lived in a damn camp over there. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, this is how Deneen was. So Deneen is brewing in there. I mean, she is boiling. Margaret has no idea this is going on. Margaret and them come out the bathroom. When I say it happens so fast, we didn't even know what had happened. Deneen made Margaret walk in front of her. They was walking back to the table. The lights was coming down because the first performance was getting ready to come out. Deneen had to walk right past the same girl that called her fat. When I say my cousin came past her, I would never, ever forget this. Deneen had on a blue dress. And the dress came down to her knees, but it kind of flared out at the bottom. But it was a mini skirt, a mini dress. When I say Denise was so smooth when this happened, nobody could move. Denise turned around as soon as she got a little ways past the girl. Denise turned around and took this part of her head. And when she hit her in her nose, she put her head underneath there and broke this girl's nose. Oh, Strip show over. All of a sudden, everybody turned around. Denise said, the next time you call somebody fat, you better make sure who you know who the fuck you talking to. You talking to the wrong bitch. She picked that damn table up and launched it. So that meant the bitches were still sitting in the chairs. That brought us up from the chair because we seen that Denise had got into an altercation. All we kept thinking was, oh my God. Well, the area that we was in was all sheriff's department because the drive-in was a little ways up. We was on Germantown. Oh, my God, we knew we was going to jail. Deneen, when she launched it, the bitches wouldn't even get up. She was not yelling. She was not loud. She said it. She said, y'all fucking with the right one. She said, because listen to me, one of us ain't coming up out of here. She said, don't get up out them chairs. And I, when, I, when she looked over at us, she told us simply, don't move. Because at the end of the day, we knew we had to call Mary King. Mary King was going to be on a level 12. But her mother, her mother was going to be on level 21. Because listen to me, all of what I can say about Bearded Betty, 
Bearded Betty will fight. Listen, Bearded Betty is not no punk, bitch. Listen, we heard the call. Oh, my God. I think we're going to jail. We already in Eric's truck. We've been drinking. Oh, my God. We are going definitely to jail. The man on the mic telling the bouncers, put them all out. Denise was like, you ain't got to put me out because I'm leaving. She grabbed her stuff off the table. That made us grab our stuff. Immediately, I'm sobering up because I know I'm getting ready to have to drive. Because she is hysterical. She is Bearded Betty's daughter. We got to get the fuck from up here. We got to get from up here because the sheriff's is coming. Honey, we walked out that club. When I say the girls walked out and we walked out, they walked out before us. So automatically, we think they're going to try to jump us when we get to the parking lot. Honey, when I say Deneen came up off of that purse, and when she threw it, she threw it in the back of Eric's truck. She took her shoes off, and she had little bitty fat feet. Honey, she turned around. She was like, ain't nobody going to do nothing. We getting up out of here. I'm like, oh, my God, help me, Jesus. We just, oh, my God. So we get to the truck. Deneen turns around and looks at the bitch. Now, the bitch, the is, bitch com is completely leaking. I mean, she is leaking. They got the ambulance up there. Now, keep in mind, they're asking what happened. Nobody is saying anything because they knew that these girls had started it. The one girl did tell them that she started to fight with somebody. We didn't see who hit her. Keep in mind, we didn't get in the truck. I'm pulling out of the driveway. I have to go past the sheriffs to get to the street so I can pull off. By the time we got past the VA, listen to me. We pulled the fuck off. All you can see is smoke. I'm punching it. But see, I ain't punching it straight down. Get it straight down. Germantown, I'm cutting through the old, through the streets, and I'm going to our house. I'm getting ready to hit Abby. I done came through, um, what is, oh, God, 600. I done came through the apartments up there on the hill at Lakeview. I'm coming through there. I'm coming down. I'm going to hit Abbey. Then I'm going to hit Brooklyn. I'm going to hit Western. And I'm coming straight to Mary King House. Boom. I'm telling y'all the route that I took. Soon as we pulled up to, my, to Mary King House, I pulled through the back. When we jumped out the truck, by this time, we opened the back door. And because we had just left, we hadn't even been gone maybe an hour and a half, maybe two hours, maybe if that was any. Honey, we walked in the house instantly. My mother knew something was wrong. She was like, what to happen? Denise goes into telling her, we know we got to call Bearded Betty. Now listen to me. Bearded Betty has no chill. She has no chill. She went, by the time my mother hung up the phone, I tell, I kid you not, she stayed maybe, mm, if you drive it, maybe 11 minutes from my mother's house. Honey, when I say Bearded Betty got the fuck there, all she only had one question for her daughter. Did you put them in their place? She said, yes. Yeah. She said, get in the car. We're going home. When I say it happened so smooth, she was so smooth. Now, see, I keep talking to y'all lately about my cousins. We are the product of my granddaddy's kids. So at the end of the day, no, we did have, like, chill. We kicked it. We enjoyed our life. Don't get me wrong. We got a chance to actually live. We partied. We drank. Even my mother's motto was, if you can't do it in front of me, you can't do it. So whatever we did, if she knew it. But at the end of the day, my cousin's mother's was, like, different from Mary King. My mom raised us with her. So at the end of the day, we still had strict rules, but at the end, she let us live our life. And we did, we did just that. Now, every now and again, it was a fupa or a fight or something, but nevertheless, people get on here and they tell people stories that is not true. At the end of the day, I am, this is my life that I'm telling y'all. This is how See, we In did. the 90s, it was New Jack City. It was Menace to Society. It was NWA. It was um, Dr. Dre and them had came out. It was Chubb Rock. These, this is Mary J. Blige when she first came out. You know what I'm saying? This is Method Man. This is that era that I'm telling y'all about. So we actually lived. We kicked it. We did. We was a girl dance group every now and again. But we lived our life. So I, I thank y'all for listening. But listen, I have to tell y'all about my entire family. I can't just tell y'all about the main players. I got to tell you some of the inners and the outers. So like, comment, and subscribe. And I thank y'all for watching. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.
and your family not going to always agree with you. The people right. around you not going to always agree with you. Mm -hmm. So it's going to take you getting away from people that's not like-minded. Mm -hmm. So I, that's the most bravest thing that it is to do is believe in yourself because you're going to have to get outside of your element Absolutely. to believe in yourself.